In my decades of experience as a corporate trainer, I have observed three kinds of problems when it comes to communication. The first is no communication or lack of communication. Your employees may have talent, you may have enough resources, but still you don't get the desired output if there is lack of communication. The second problem is partial or incomplete communication. Because of that, there will be confusion, lack of clarity and obviously your time, money and resources will be wasted because of inaction. The third problem is wrong communication and that can have disastrous consequences. If you want to get rid of such problems, you can contact us, you can communicate with us. I am Dharmendra Shet from Fluent Lingua Surat. And by the way, if you look at the word communication, the origin is in the Latin root communis or communique, which is connected with the word common, something which is shared. Communication matters. Let's learn how to pronounce this word in standard English. Now, this word has four syllables. That means it is spoken in four parts. And the primary stress falls on the second syllable. Let's see how. The first syllable is T. T. Now, one of the common mistakes in this particular word is to speak it as te. It is not te, it is t. The second syllable is ve, and that is the stressed syllable. T ve. The third is lap. And the fourth, again, another common mistake is to speak it as meant, but it is actually man. It has the schwa sound, a, uh, munt. So the whole word will, will become development. Development. Speak after me, please. Development. Development. Now, this is the way it is spoken in standard British as well as American English. Development. And the verb form is develop. Again, the stress falls on the second syllable. Develop. Development. I hope it helps. Thank you very much. Certain words in English are difficult to pronounce. Let's try one of them. Try to speak this word. Now, in standard British pronunciation, this word is spoken in four parts. Technically, each part is called a syllable. So there are four syllables in this word. And the stress falls on the last syllable. On, tr, pr, n. Entrepreneur. Please speak this after me. Entrepreneur. I hope this helps. Look forward to when you are pleased or excited about something that's going to happen, you use look forward to. And usually, look forward to is followed by either a noun form or the ing form of the verb. So, I look forward to meeting you or I look forward to the program. A very common mistake is to use for in place of to. Remember, it is not look forward for, it is look forward to. Two. I look forward to meeting you. Someone came to my office this morning and he said, I am worried about my career. What should I do? I said, you can go and check whether everything is okay. He said, where should I go and check? I said, where you have put your career. So, career is a part of your vehicle where you put your luggage or it can be a vehicle itself which carries something like a carrier bag 
So he said, no, 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 I am worried about my future. What should I do? Should I get a job or should I start my own business? So I said, you are actually worried about your career, not career. So career and career, these two are totally different words. They are written differently, they are spoken differently and they mean different things. Have a nice time. What expression can you use when you are really worried, you are tired, you have no patience left, you have no energy left? Well, you can say, I am at the end of my tether. So when somebody is at the end of their tether or when somebody is at the end of their rope, that means they have no energy left, no patience, they are dead tired, they are worried, they are upset about something. And they are not in a position to deal with the situation. I hope it helps. Hello everyone. Do you want to learn the secret to fluency in English? Well, speak after me. E. E. Teason. Teason. Teasy. Teasy. Now, when you speak all these three together, it becomes, it isn't easy. It isn't easy. Now, you know the secret. It isn't easy is spoken as it isn't easy. I hope it helps. Thank you very much. Have a great time. How will you speak these two words? Well, the first is a verb, pronounce, and the second is a noun form, pronunciation. You can see that in pronounce as a verb, you have n o u n in the spelling, and in the word pronunciation, it is n u n. So the spellings are different, sounds are different. In the verb we have noun, so it is pronounced and in the noun form it is none, pronunciation. I hope it helps. What expression do you use when you end your day's work at your office? Let's call it a day. Goodbye.